GeoPlanner helps you create, analyze, and report on alternative planning scenarios to help you make better, more informed decisions. In this video, we are going to use GeoPlanner to model the transfer of development rights. Many jurisdictions in the United States allow landowners to sell development rights to their land. This prevents development on that land and allows the purchaser of those rights to increase development density in another area. In this map, we see parcels between 100 and 183 acres. The green areas represent intact habitat or landscape areas. The darker the green, the higher quality landscape area. This is land we'd like to conserve. This layer was created by ESRI's green infrastructure apps and can be used directly in GeoPlanner. GeoPlanner's dashboard shows us information about the impact of the parcels on the landscape layer. The chart on the left represents the parcels layer. The chart on the right represents the landscape layer. The tooltip indicates that more than 20% of the parcels lie within the best landscape areas. Note that the parcel to the east of Bottle Peak is almost completely within a best quality landscape area. Let's use GeoPlanner to plan a transfer of development rights from this parcel to another so we can protect this area and focus development on another area. First, I'll propose an alternative to this scenario. Scenarios allow us to envision different alternatives to existing conditions. Next, I'll access GeoPlanner's Paint tool in the Design segment. Notice that the palette lists three types of parcels and sending and receiving areas. Sending areas are conserved. Receiving areas are developed. I simply choose the sending area symbol in the palette and click on a parcel in the map. Development rights can be measured in credits. Many municipalities grant one credit per 20 acres. GeoPlanner can compute credits in a Key Performance Indicator, or KPI. KPIs measure progress or impact of a planning decision. This KPI shows that our sending area can send approximately five development credits to a receiving area. Now let's create a receiving area. Again, the Paint tool allows me to easily propose that a different parcel become a receiving area. Another KPI helps us visualize the impact of this change. Each development credit allows a developer to build an extra unit in the receiving area. Applying these credits to the receiving area allows the developer to build approximately 366 housing units, five more than at normal densities.